Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about how they're thinking or feeling about you, how they view you or this connection? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And we'll also look at what they wish they could tell you. So let's jump right in for Libra. For Libra, Spirits, Angels, Guides. What messages, what guidance do you have for Libra? Regarding love, relationship. All right, so let's see. What do we have for you, Libra? What can you expect in love? We have the Judgment card here. Judgment is such a big card. And Five of Swords. Okay. So something big is happening in terms of um, how you view a particular situation, how you view a particular person. Uh, I, this is something that could have happened in your past because judgment, you look at the past, you analyze the past, you learn from what you've been through and you have a realization and awakening about that. That's what judgment is about. So the fact that judgment is here with the five of swords is almost like you're having some sort of realization about someone else's actions, someone that didn't play fair, that wasn't, didn't treat you right, that could have been deceptive. What do we need to know about this or any past energies that could be influencing uh, what you can expect? We have the Queen of Cups reverse and the Ten of Cups. So complete opposites here. Or it could be that someone is putting up a front. They're appearing like everything's hunky-dory, but really they are uh, disappointed, heartbroken with the Queen of Cups reversed. This could also be... Um, that someone's emotions are blocked, their intuition could be blocked, and they can't really see clearly. And so something could appear to be a Ten of Cups, but it's not really that. How are you? Um, what are your energies? How are you feeling here? Strength and the High Priest is reverse. Leo energy. The High Priest is reverse is something that has come out, come to the surface. You, yeah, you've realized something. With the High Priestess Reverse Judgment, sorry, I think I hit the tripod. Um, so these are your energies, um, how you're feeling, where you're at energetically. So what about the other person? This could be a person you've dealt with in the past or currently dealing with or could deal with in the future. Nine of Wands Reverse. Nine of Pentacles Reverse. Oops. This person to me um, could be insecure. Why am I picking that up? I don't know. There's something a bit off here. The Nine of Wands Reverse could be a card about someone that no longer wants to be defensive guarded, is no longer, you know, in this paranoid state of mind um instead of holding on and dealing with something even though it hurts or is difficult they kind of give up or tend to give up and then the knight of pentacles reverse is someone that is not free not independent not secure not doing well They're dependent on someone else. They rely on others. But I, I also see the Nine of Pentacles reverse as someone that's insecure. So we'll have to dig deep into your person here and get some insight there. Or at least clarify some of these. What do you need to know what's hidden from you? The King of Cups, Page of Cups reverse. Again, with the same energy. So what you need to know is that someone is still emotionally invested despite being disappointed. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And where's all of this headed in the near future? What can you expect in the near future? Three of Cups reverse, Knight of Swords reverse. Okay, so um, some sort of interference here with another person or uh, it could be a fight, a verbal fight. Um, someone could send you a message or, or say something really... Um, 
in a, in a blunt, unnecessarily blunt way, the Knight of Swords reverse. Or this could be that someone is preventing a message from getting out. I think a lot of you, there's someone probably around you that you can't really trust. Because I have the Five of Swords here, the High Priest is reversed, and then the Knight of Swords reversed. So it's like someone has kept something from you and you're, tr you're figuring this out or you're realizing that someone wasn't a good person. Okay, why is all of this happening? Um, the root, the foundation at the bottom of the deck. Six of Wands reversed. So something's not successful. Um, success could be delayed. It could be that um, someone's not being recognized for their efforts. The tower is reversed after that. I almost pick up with the tower reverse like a tower happened uh, and someone's still dealing with it and perhaps isn't able to really like maybe something's not complete the tower's not completely done is kind of what I'm feeling from that energy so let's clarify let's see what all of this is about Get some clarity inside for Libra. Could also be um, dealing with a person that you haven't met yet. Like this could be the person coming into your life. Even though I don't really, I, I'm not getting clear energy here. So I kind of want to see what that's all about. And of course, feel free to flip the energies um, if they resonate more for you. Oh gosh. Hold on. I'm going to put that back because... I haven't really asked my question yet, but the Knight of Cups, okay. Let's look at the root, the foundation, why everything is happening first. The Six of Wands reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Why is the Six of Wands reverse? The High Priestess, yeah. So the High Priestess shows up again. Secrets, mysteries, um, something hidden, um, something hidden beneath the veil, right? High Priestess is also a very intuitive energy, someone that is very, their intuition is very strong. Page of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is hidden feelings, um, hidden, um, something hidden emotionally. Let's see what else we get here. What I'm getting here is uh, two very different stories so far. Of course, we're gonna know more as we uh, clear um, clarify the energies. But the first scenario I'm getting is that someone, their intuition is alerting them. Uh, maybe something feels like a red flag and it's and it's tied to an emotional offer or an apology. What else do we need to know about this Six of Wands reverse? Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Six of Cups. So this is, this is all related to the past. The devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. I feel like there's some something off about the past. Either you're realizing this, um, Libra, or your person's realizing this. But I think that this is all, this has basically alerted someone that a situation is not successful or is never going to be successful with the Six of Wands reverse. There is either a secret that happened here or someone was not, I don't know. It, I feel like this is going to be a very specific reading because this is tied to the past. It's like with judgment here, Six of Cups. Can I get one more for the Six of Wands reverse? Ten of Wands, yeah. I feel like this was a long time coming. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck here, Seven of Pentacles. There's, uh, you know, and I feel like some of you could have been suspicious of another person in the past because your intuition was telling you that something was off. There could be another person involved here, a friend, a colleague, a family member that might be causing issues in a connection or caused issues in the past in a connection. But the Ten of Wands for me as a reader, it takes time to get to this to this overwhelmed, burdened energy. 
Um, you've collected wands as you go and now it's become too much. But you're almost at the finish line. You're almost home. You're about to drop these, these burdens, these, these heavy wands. You're not going to have to carry them anymore. Um, but something very important about the Ten of Wands is these wands are blocking their view. So they can't even see how close they are to being done. It just feels like it's just heavier and heavier and heavier every step that they take. So I feel like something was slowly getting to this point where this is really not going to be successful. This is really not going to work out. There's too many things that have happened, too many things that have been said or too many lies, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like someone always like was worried here or wondered with the seven of pentacles where, how is this going to end up? What about this other person? You know, suspicions, doubts. You could have had these doubts because the high priestess is very intuitive and the high priestess is reversed on your side. So I feel like you uncovered something. Oops, sorry. I keep hitting the tripod where it's right next to me. Okay. Tell me about judgment and this five of swords. This is in what you can expect. Tell me about judgment and the five of swords. Why is judgment here? Wow, 10 of swords. Yeah, this is gonna be the end of a cycle here. Something's ending for good, I feel. I also am getting like someone could feel betrayed, like they were stabbed in the back, taken advantage of. Tell me about, <clears throat> excuse me. Tell me about judgment and the five of swords. What do we need to know about judgment and the five of swords? What do we need to know about judgment and the five of swords? The sun, yeah, something's very clear right now. Something is being illuminated. Can I get one more for judgment and the five of swords? Why is judgment here with the five of swords? Yeah, six of swords. I mean, how clear is that? I feel like you are leaving this behind. Um, I do have justice at the bottom of the deck, your energy. Um, justice is here to make things right, to make things balanced. Um, but I also am getting that someone probably made like a final decision here with justice to leave. They looked at the situation objectively. They looked at the situation logically without emotion. For, for a lot of you, I think this is you, Libra. I feel like you're the one leaving something behind for good. But this could also be the other person you're dealing with. So just take it as it resonates. So what do we need to know about what you can expect? Any insights, past energies that have influenced this? Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone's been emotionally blocked. They're tied. They can't see, can't move. Maybe they, there's just been, you know, emotionally this has taken a toll and all someone can do is just kind of think and think and think about what's happened, how something hurts, how difficult something is. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Star, Aquarius Energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. So someone working really hard here for something that they have hope in, faith in, or working to heal something. The Magician. This is something that someone wants to get done um, with the Magician. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, some sort of offer. So what I'm seeing here, again, I'm getting like two opposing energies. Um, or this could be that despite the fact that something is heartbreaking, disappointing, emotionally taxing, someone still has hope that there could be a resolution, that there could be a healing of this situation. And I think this has been like where you were at or where someone was at before all of this happened. 
it's like there was still kind of hope that you could manifest something but then judgment brought a ten of swords five of swords six of swords right and i think it's because the high priestess is here this is the overall energy of this whole situation this is the root why everything is happening so i think the high priestess is very important it's almost like maybe something was hidden from you until your intuition told you something or maybe something was hidden from you and you figured it out. And I feel like maybe, maybe you were just hoping that you were wrong or that it wasn't as bad as you thought or that your suspicions were just suspicions. It wasn't confirmed. So let's get some insight into how you feel about each other or your energies and this other person's energies. Okay, four. Libra. Okay, can I get an in, some insight, please, into Libra's energy spirit when it comes to this situation or another person? What do we need to know about Libra's energy? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Libra's energy? What do we need to know? Past life, memories, past life, nostalgia. You have had a connection with this person in the past. Could have been a past life connection, but I think a lot of you are dealing with a person that you just had a past relationship with or a past with, you know, history. There's history here with this person. Bottom of the deck, true love. Maybe this was your true love or you think this is your true love. This is the person that you're meant to be with. But right after that, I have walking away. So you could be walking away from someone you thought was it for you, Libra. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. What about the person that Libra is dealing with, has dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this other person? Mirrored souls, soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. What's at the bottom of the deck? Closed off, guarded, defensive, resistant, and burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. So I feel this person could have kept something from you. Because I, I'm picturing someone that's not open with closed off is someone that's not open or isn't communicating clearly. The passion is there. The chemistry is there. The intimacy is there. But there's they're still closed off. Right behind that, we have wedding bells. Well, I really hope this person isn't married. And that's why they're closed off. Because that would be just icing on the sunday just not i just would not be would not be great i want to get a kip or two can i get one more for libra and this other person now some of you this could be somebody coming in this mirrored souls and maybe you are closed off to this person coming in or you can't see this person coming in. But I think a lot of you, this person is someone you've already, you already have a past with. Um, tell me about Libra's energy. Tell me about Libra's energy. Gift, number 17. Okay, maybe you're waiting for something, expecting an offer, or this person could be giving you an offer or giving you something here. Tell me about the person Libra is or will be dealing with or has dealt with. What do we need to know about this other person? Journey. They're headed somewhere. There's expectation at the bottom of the deck and a message of concern and unexpected income. I think this is somebody who perhaps has kept you waiting, has maybe told you they're on a journey, leaving somewhere, headed somewhere, 
And I feel like someone's waiting for them on the other side of this. But for some reason, message of concern is telling me that instead of someone arriving, you're just going to get a letter or a message saying, hey, I'm not coming. Or it's going to take longer or something like that. I think what you're waiting for is this person to come to you with an offer or maybe in the past this was what you were waiting for and they didn't arrive. You're still waiting, that kind of energy. Okay, so let me just move these a little bit up here to the side. So let's clarify. I kind of want to be able to see stuff, even though I'm clarifying. Okay. We get some insight, please. Oh my gosh, we just split the deck. There's the tower again. Get some insight, please, for Libra. Tell me about strength and the high priestess. Actually, no, let's look at the high priestess reverse first. Spirit, what can you tell me about this high priestess? Reverse. Why is the High Priestess reverse? Four of Cups. Why is the High Priestess reverse? Why is the High Priestess reverse? The Emperor. Aries Energy. And the Fool at the bottom of the deck. King of Swords and Death, Scorpio Energy. I feel like a lot of you are going to become free of something because I feel like this King of Swords is you. And it's almost like you are breaking free and ending or changing something here. There's an ending here with death and a new beginning with the fool. And this emperor, I feel, is making it happen. This emperor could be how you approach this, or this could be this other person. But with the four of cups, I almost get like someone is going to be disappointed. Uh, not interested closed off to a new opportunity, checked out, etc., etc. Let's see what this strength card is about. Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Two of Pentacles. So you, I feel are weighing your options, trying to decide something. Tell me about strength. Tell me about, okay, that was the Six of Pentacles and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. You're trying to figure out, yeah, what you're gonna do. I feel like you're trying to figure out what you're gonna do and you're probably weighing your options. The Hermit listens to their intuition. I think, let me get one more for the High Priestess Reverse before I say that. Can I get one more spirit for this High Priestess Reverse? Can I get one more? Why is the High Priestess Reverse? Why is the High Priestess Reverse? Ace of Pentacles and then the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. I think this emperor is bringing an ace of pentacles or offering an ace of pentacles but there's something off about it right because i almost get the sense that let's say this emperor is your person let's say they bring you this ace of pentacles right you're not interested for whatever reason and it's probably because they come they make you this offer and then they leave with the chariot or they come and they make you this offer. Yeah, there's a three of swords behind that. They come, they make you this offer and something else happens. You figure out something else or you realize something. That's one scenario. Another scenario that I see here is that a lot of you, your intuition was blocked. You were, you were not able to 
see something. That's why the high priestess is reverse. And you were probably confused because you couldn't really see something. So you had to dig deep within yourself with the hermit because something fell off to you or started to feel off to you. I think a lot of you, if you are in that boat where something fell off to you and it's, it's because you were already suspicious or already had an idea of what was going on. That's why judgment is here with the five of swords, because you got to that point where your eyes were open or you had this realization. And so all of a sudden, all of this is tainted. All of this, that kind of energy is what I'm picking up here. Yeah, I feel like if this is an offer from your person or if this is something that you realized late, you're going to be disappointed no matter what it is, or you were disappointed. Let's look at this person you're dealing with. What is this Nine of Wands reverse and Nine of Pentacles reverse all about? Well, the Nine of Pentacles reverse is someone that's not free, not independent, attached to something. So if this person's married, that makes sense. Why is the Nine of Wands reverse here with the Nine of Pentacles reverse? The world? Why is the Nine of Wands reverse with the Nine of Pentacles reverse? The Knight of Wands. So this person wants a new beginning. They want to go after something new. But they're waiting around here with the three of wands, king of wands, the chariot. Yeah. Could be dealing with a cancer. This person's waiting, waiting to make this move. 